This video will cover the topic of adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of your page. The essential question for the video, what steps can we take to add and subtract mixed numbers? Right, so that's what we'll be focusing on and we'll hopefully have an answer to by the end of the video. There are a couple of strategies for adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Perhaps the most straightforward and my favorite strategy involves converting mixed numbers into improper fractions. Let's start with the basics. Let's start with adding and subtracting a couple of mixed numbers with like denominators. In the margin, we're going to write how do we add or subtract mixed numbers with like denominators. I have the two fractions, or the, excuse me, the two mixed numbers, 5 and 5 eighths, and I want to add 2 and 7 eighths. There are a couple ways we can go about this, but I'm going to be consistent here in the video. So I'm going to change these first into improper fractions so I can show my strategy. If you need a refresher, look back on your notes from improper, excuse me, improper fractions and mixed numbers. The mixed number 5 and 5 eighths is equivalent to 45 eighths. And the mixed number 2 and 7 eighths is equivalent to 23 eighths. Since they have the same denominator, I can simply add my numerators. So the sum of the two fractions is 68 eighths. Of course, looking back at my notes maybe from yesterday, I have an improper fraction as my answer, so I'll want to turn it back into a mixed number. 64 eighths would be equivalent to 8 with 4 of the eighths left over, or simply 8 and a half. So my answer there is 8 and a half. Let's do the same with subtraction. Again, we'll have like denominators, because that'll be a little bit easier to work with as we're just getting used to this strategy. This time we have the mixed number 6 and 4 sevenths, and we want to subtract 3 and 6 sevenths. I wish I could just subtract the fractions, but I can't take away 6 sevenths from 4 sevenths. So I'm going to go back to my strategy. I'll turn these first into improper fractions. The, the mixed number 6 and 4 sevenths is equivalent to 46 sevenths. And 3 and 6 sevenths is equivalent to 27 sevenths. Since they have the same denominator, I can just subtract my numerators. The difference between the two fractions is 19 sevenths. Of course, that is leaving me with an improper fraction, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it back into a mixed number, which is 2 and 5 sevenths. Let's continue with adding and subtracting mixed numbers, but this time we'll look at the denominators that are not the same, unlike denominators. So in the margin, we're going to write, how do we add or subtract mixed numbers with unlike denominators? The process here is basically the same, but with one extra step. You can maybe guess what it is. Right? If you can, just jot that down. Make a prediction of what you think is different in between this process and the one we just completed. We'll see if we can find it as we go through this question. Let's start by adding the mixed numbers 3 and a third plus 1 and 7 tenths. Just like before, I'll start by turning these into improper fractions. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video and turn these into improper fractions as well before you check in and see how you do. How'd you do? I said that 3 and a third is equivalent to 10 thirds, and 1 and 7 tenths is equivalent to 17 tenths. Now, these are different denominators. Before we can continue, we need to find a common denominator. That might have been what you guessed earlier on. Right? That's the difference here. We have to find a common denominator. As I look at this, I see 3 and 10 are my denominators. 3 and 10 have a lowest common multiple of 30. So I'm going to use that as my denominator. 
to make equivalent fractions, I had to multiply my 3 times 10 to get a denominator of 30. So I did 10 times 10. What I do to the bottom, I do to the top, and found my new numerator of 100. On the other side, I had to do 10 times 3 to make 30. What I do to the bottom, I do to the top. 17 times 3 is 51. Now that they have equivalent or common denominators, we can go ahead and add the numerators. My total is 151 over 30, but as we know, we can turn this back into a mixed number. This time, let's see, 30 will go into 151 five times, but there will be 1 30th left over. So that's my total. It takes a few steps, but you get used to it, and it's not so bad. Let's try it again, though, now with subtracting. Let's look at subtracting with the number sentence 10 and 1 fifth minus 8 and 1 half. We're going to complete this number sentence by finding the difference. Just as before, I'll start by converting the mixed numbers into improper fractions. So just like before, go ahead and pause the video and give yourself some time to calculate that as well. How'd you do? I said that 10 and 1 fifth was equivalent to 51 fifths and eight and a half is equivalent to 17 halves. I would like to continue from here, but I notice once again, they don't have the same denominator, so I need to find a common denominator before I can continue. I need to find the common denominator by looking at the least common multiple. Five and two have a least common multiple of 10, so I'm gonna start there. Go ahead and pause the video as you turn these into tenths as well. We're going to make 51 fifths into tenths and 17 halves also into tenths. Did you get the same thing? How'd you do? Now that we have two improper fractions with the same denominator, we can simply subtract the numerators. Right? That's the nice thing we can do now. 102 subtracting set, excuse me, 85 would get us 17 and these are in tenths currently. So I know I have 17 tenths. That's still improper, so I'm going to turn that into a mixed number. 17 tenths, right, can be the same as one whole, and then there are seven tenths left over. And that's it. 10 and 1 fifth minus eight and a half is seven and 1 tenth. Doesn't look like it, from when we first saw the original number sentence, but that's what it is. So thinking back on our essential question, remember we were trying to figure out what steps we can take to add and subtract mixed numbers. We saw that we can turn it into improper fractions first, and then so long as the denominators are equivalent, we can go ahead and subtract the numerators. If this is something that's new to you and you feel like you need a little more practice, remember you can always check online at Khan Academy for more information. And feel free to watch this also as many times as you need.